Aloha, I'm Diane Wilson from the Hawaii Writers Guild. Welcome to Write On, a series of videos with tips, instruction, and inspiration for all of you writers out there. Today's episode is all about getting published. My guests today are three members of the Writers Guild who are going to share with you their experiences with publication. So let's start by having each of them introduce themselves and show you a copy of their book. Duncan, let's start with you. All right, well, my book is called Chapel on the Moor, and it's a, a novel, my first novel. I have a second one out now. Uh, and it was published by uh, Dog Ear Publishing, which is a, a small indie publisher, which we'll talk about shortly. Great, thank you. And Carol? Hi, I'm Carol McMillan. Um, this is my book, Whitewater Red Walls, and it's um, poetry paintings. This is my painting and photographs of a two week long rafting trip down the Grand Canyon. So if you're um, interested in the Grand Canyon and don't want to risk being dead, read my book instead. <laughs> Thank you. And Mark. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Brown. This is my book. It's um, called Outbound Lessons to Live a Life of Leadership. It was published by Barrett Kohler out of the San Francisco Bay Area. And um, it's a nonfiction uh, leadership and personal development book. Great, thank you all, welcome. Duncan, how did you decide which publisher to use for your book? Well, I did a little research on the web, as most of us do nowadays. I Googled uh, uh, indie publishers, there's any number of Google uh, 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 phrases you can use and you come up with 10 million hits. Um, but primarily, uh, I simply researched on the web and I studied a few of them and uh, came up with the one I did, I guess quite by accident, the way most of us do. All right, thank you. And Carol, how about you? How did you select your publisher? Well, I was living in Bellingham at the time, and Bellingham, Washington, north of Seattle, and they have a fabulous bookstore called Village Books that just supports local writers unbelievably. And they also publish, you can publish through Village Books. So it's a hybrid publishing, and they just do a fabulous job. They really helped me. It was very expensive. They actually print through Ingram Spark. Um, and now that I'm living in Hawaii, I need to start dealing directly with Ingram Spark probably, but um, I, it was a wonderful experience. Great. With Village book. Love them. Mark, how about you? How did you select your publisher? Well, years ago, I was um, on a leadership team at a nonprofit in Minnesota, and one of the board, um, board members, trustees, is an author named Richard Leiter, who was published by Barrett Kohler. And I had, when I thought about writing this book, I'd actually called him and talked with him a little bit about um, just really getting some guidance and mentoring from a published author. And um, if uh, either it's synchronicity or fate would have it, I was at a conference about a month later and I ended up sitting down to a networking breakfast next to the managing director of Bear Kohler and we started talking over breakfast. And by the end of the meal, he just gave me his card and said, I want you to write this book and I'll be happy to help you shepherd it through if you want to take it on. So it was really a synchronistic moment that uh, got me to Eric Kohler. Wow, okay, well then I think my next question is only gonna be for Carol, maybe? Because my next question is, did you investigate other publication options? And um, Duncan already told us he researched on the web. Mark shared his story with us. Carol, did you look at other publication options? Um, I did at the time, two years ago, I was um, at the Kauai Writers Conference and I, um, did a four day intensive on publishing because I knew, you know, this was going to be serious and man alive. Mm. <laughs> the bottom line is there are no simple answers to these questions anymore. Everything that used to be known is no longer known. It used to be true is no longer true, but um, Village Book was wonderful. I have good friends there. And so I just said, okay, I'm doing this for now. And um, the next book, I'm going to consider some other options. Or the pros of publishing route that you took? Well, there were quite a few pros. Uh, first of all, I got a, a very good introduction to the people in the company after I emailed them and phone called them. I got a very friendly customer service person, I guess you'd call it. And she was uh, quite, quite interested in me. And uh, I guess she was a good marketer is what she was. Um, 
they offered five, back in those days, it was five different plans. I chose the lowest, uh, uh, lowest price one. They were priced everywhere from about $1,000 up to $10,000. Uh, but I wanted uh, the bare bones minimum so I could do most of the work myself. Uh, probably the, the biggest uh, uh, pro uh, is the fact that they offered a whole lot of a la carte uh, uh, services that I didn't have to buy or I could buy for a little extra dough. Uh, one of them was, uh, do you want a Kirkus, a Kirkus review? And I said, yes. Uh, or they had five or six different kind of editing options I could have chosen. I chose a real low end one. Uh, probably the biggest one was the cover design, uh, feature. Um, I got very minimal cover design in the plan, in the plan that I uh, chose, uh, but uh, for a, a few extra dollars, not really much at all, I got some very, very professional cover design uh, artwork, and I chose, it, it was just two or three sessions, and boom, I liked my cover, the cover that they proposed to me. So, uh, and the other big pro is that I didn't have to worry about formatting. They wanted a PDF of my book, and um, so I did the PDF, and they came, they did all the formatting for me, which is the big bugaboo, of course, now with, with real self-publishing, if you go by a Kindle or some of the others, you have to spend your, your lifetime trying to figure out how to format the manuscript, but this company did it all for me. Great. So those were the pros. Okay. And Carol, how about you? What were the pros of the route you took? Pros uh, Village Book is that it was my first book. It was, you know, I was scared and they were extremely friendly. They were local. I could go talk to them in person all the time, which I really, really like. And they did that for me. Um, and mostly I did all the work, the cover and the formatting and yada, yada, everything myself. Um, but they held my hand through it. And so that was, that was really excellent for me at the time. That was what I really needed. And they, um, they promote you. If you publish through them, they, you know, they showcase your book in their store and they give you the book launch for free in their, you know, in their venue. And it's just, it was really a good deal. I'm very happy I went with them, but it was a niche book. Um, everybody isn't going to want to read a poetry and painting book about the Grand Canyon. And so I just was happy with a small audience and I'm not going for, a, for my next book, I want a big audience, so I'll be different. Okay, great. And Mark, the pros for the route you took. Well, Bear Kohler certainly is, um, they're a boutique publisher, but a full service publisher, so more like a tra tra traditional publisher would be. And I think the good parts about them were, um, I had an invitation as soon as the manuscript was accepted to, to um, come out to um, their headquarters and literally set with their entire staff. So you present your book to them um, and then just met with everyone from the editors to the, the layout folks, the marketing folks. So I left there really feeling like I had a team um, behind me. Um, they had, um, they, they, they sent the book out on the first draft manuscript to several readers. So it was a little scary at first because I'd never published a book before, but to get real, really good, positive and critical feedback to improve the manuscript, um, multiple rounds of editing. So both, both uh, highly skilled editorial editing, but then also technical editing layout. Um, they did a survey on titles. Um, I had full, say on everything that happened, but they were really, really collaborative about um, helping me make the best choices. So everything from the cover photo to um, to the typeface, all of that, they brought it in. And then I think the, the biggest piece of having um, Bear Kohler on my side then became the, you know, they, they promote all over the world in partnerships. So when the book came out, um, they sold international rights. So it was able to um, out the gate be published um, in the Indian continent and in Europe. and and then they also sold it into Barnes and Noble for the launch. So it ended up in 200 stores around the country. And those are things I never could have done by myself. So I, I appreciated having that kind of team of people around me to help for this, for this first book in particular. Okay. Well, there are a lot of positives from all three different approaches, but I have to assume there were some downsides as well. Duncan, from your approach, what were the cons? Well, the cons were um, 
probably not too many. The, the, the usual delay in, in response, you know, email response when I would correspond with them and I would have a question and they wouldn't come back the same day. It would be two or three days later. But that's a part for the course. Uh, biggest con, of course, is my company went bankrupt on me. <laughs> and so it no longer exists. And I'm stuck out in the middle, but uh, uh, I'm still researching what I can do about that. <laughs> But otherwise, uh, it was a pretty, you know, there are thousands, th literally thousands of these little small independent indie publishers. They're all pretty good. They all offer about the same thing. Um, but some are better than others. So you have to, you have to buy or beware. You, you can research them and, and maybe go to another one next time, one that doesn't go bankrupt. <laughs> Here you go. Carol, how about you? Downsides? The downside is they don't really do um, much promotion outside of, of Bellingham. They don't, and and that I basically did it myself. So it was not expensive, but it it was. Um, you know, you get the name of them, and they don't accept everybody. So that's one step above just you know self-publishing, with um, without some kind of of status shall we be honest about that that goes behind the the title but um it's small and is local and that's um what the downside is for me for my next book it was wonderful for this book i have no complaints for this one but if you want a big audience this what wouldn't be the one to do and mark i don't know you had quite a list of pros were there any cons going your well route? I think there's a couple, I mean, certainly traditional publishing, um, you know, you're signing a multi-page legal document. So it's as simple as a, I can't just reprint a chapter and send it out without getting permission. So there's things like that. I think you give up a lot of control and, and the, I think Bear Kohler is actually really generous in its relationship with authors. They're very author centric, um, but they do, you know, the, the contracts designed, um, in such a way that you need really need to get sales going at a higher volume before you really see much money from it. So that makes it harder to they control that upfront. Um, and I think the last piece for me was just a maybe a small one, but um, but you know in some ways it's really exciting to be a part of a publisher that's you know published some best-selling authors, particularly in the business space where I've been. And yet at the same time, I'm an unknown small authors so all the attention from Barrett Kohler goes to you know the the Brian Tracy's of the world that sell 150,000 books out the gate and so it's harder to get yourself um recognized within the company and get them to put more energy into your book because it's not you know my, my book's not selling at the volume of some of their best sellers are so there's a little bit of a competitive thing there that makes it challenging Guys, we're running out of time, but I want to give each of you a chance to give any last advice you have for the writers out there who want to be published. Duncan, any words of wisdom from you? Well, I said it before, uh, caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. Uh, uh, you either get good advice from a friend or look for uh, uh, some reviews. Some of these companies have reviews online that you can read. Um, and hopefully uh, you'll cho choose one that won't go bankrupt. Uh, <laughs> Good advice. Right. Carol? Um, just get a basic book on, on how you publish. So you go through the right steps, your query letter, your, your just all of the steps. And people seem to take a little cavalier attitude toward formatting. And I want to say a big formatting. Lots of companies won't even look at your manuscript if it's not formatted correctly. And it's just, it, you know, it's easy. Just choose New Times Roman, 12 point, indent your paragraphs, double space. I mean, they're just simple rules that you can look up anywhere. And just do that to make your first step into any publication to be easier and really get yourself looked at. And Mark, final words of wisdom from you? Well, I, I think some of it depends on what is it, what's your intention. I know, you know, for me, I, I, that was a life goal to write and publish a book. So I felt a great sense of accomplishment to do it. And it's something I'd put aside for 30 years while I was building a career. So, you know, it, it's, it's really rewarding. And, you know, it's also, um, I think, 
if you think you're just going to put a book out and then the world's going to come rushing to you, like it doesn't work that way. So really there's a lot of work like anything else, you know, like there's the labor of love of writing the book. There's the learning how to publish it. Um, um, really understanding the, the publishers you're interested in and presenting. And then there's, you know, you have to market and sell afterwards. So it's really, you know, and all those are separate from the writing of publishing. So I'm, I'm always like, if you have a dream, do it, you know, and, and just think about what it is you want to accomplish. And that may affect how you choose a publisher as well. Great. Do we have time for me to add one more thing that I think is really important? Um, your, your platform, all of the publishers want you to already have an online platform that, that you know, you already have a website, you already have a Facebook page, you already have all these different things because you need to sell yourself. Unless you're Michelle Obama, you need to sell yourself no matter how you go. So that's a biggie. I don't like that and I have to start doing it. <laughs> well, maybe and, that will be our next write on is how to do those things. Mark? And then I would say just let me add in on then that um, one of the other nice things about Barrett Kohler is they, they have a they have an author's cooperative that's in partnership with them. So it's all Barrett Kohler authors, but they open up things like um, marketing workshops to authors and it's open to anybody, not just to, um, to Barrett Kohler authors, but it's a way of learning from other authors about how to do this. Cause I would agree with you. You, you really do. You have to learn the business side of it after you write the book. And a lot of those, you know, with publishing like, like any other business now, it's very competitive and it's hard for those book publishers to make money. So they kind of, if they're going to invest in you, they want to, and know what they're getting in return so it is important to learn that side of the business too okay. <laughs> thank you three so awesome. much for sharing your experiences both positive and negative with us today and for your advice to the writers out there for more information on writing and on the writers guild go to www.hawaiiwritersguild.com and write on <laughs>